One repair that we're not going to do too much as part of the redevelopment, but it is a handy repair to know about and especially good for rare books is going to be a Japanese tissue and wheat starch paste repair. So this one involves more supplies than the other ones that we talked about. So you got to kind of round up your supplies first. You need your wheat starch paste. You need some distilled water. You also are going to need your Japanese tissue. You're going to need this little space age fabric, which is called Hollytex and you're going to need some blotter paper as well. You also are going to need a weight and a micro spatula for positioning your tissue on your mend. So these kinds of mends are helpful on books that have some value or that you don't want to put a piece of tape. All tape is a slow moving liquid and will eventually permeate through the paper and it's going to yellow and harden and leave a stain and eventually the tape will fail and it will fall off and you'll be left with the tear that you had in the first place. So this mend is, is a true conservation mend. It is completely reversible. You can move, if they invent some better technology in the, in the future, all we need to reverse this repair is some water. If we apply water to this, the wheat starch paste will release and we'll be able to remove the tissue. But as you can see on this particular item, if you do it on the back of a page, you can hardly tell that the page was was mended. And another benefit that the Japanese tissue has over tape is that it doesn't have a sharp fine edge. So whenever you apply a piece of tape to a mend, you're going to end, end up with a weak spot right on the edge of the tape. So with this Japanese tissue that has many fibers that spread out, you don't inherently weaken the, pa the paper right next to your mend, which was probably already brittle to begin with. So this is a good example of the front page, and, and if you do a good job on your mend, you know, if you look at it, you can hardly tell until you look at the back and see that there's a, there's a, a tissue mend on there. So to get going, the first thing you need to do is mix up your paste. You're gonna, we're going to use instant wheat starch paste. Most of our materials don't warrant. So true, some conservators think the instant stuff isn't as good, but for our collection, I think it's totally fine. And it also takes a long time to cook up the wheat starch paste, and it goes bad quite quickly. So if you're not going to do a bunch of these repairs at once, it's not worth the trouble. So I'm going to put a little bit of my wheat starch paste in my cup, and then I'm going to continue to add distilled water until I get the right consistency. And what we're going for is something the consistency of cream. We don't want it to be too thick or clumpy, but you don't want it to be too runny either. First thing you need to do is position your book. On some books, you might need to prop them open or with other books or weights to position them in the right place so you can get at your mend. We're going to do this one first. We have two of them, and I could probably do two at the same time on these pages because they're facing each other, but typically you're only going to be able to do one mend at a time, and you're going to have to wait for it to dry until you can mend another page in the book. So the first thing we want to do is below our tear, we're going to take a piece of blotter paper, and then we're going to take a piece of this Holitex fabric. So you get that under there. Make sure you're lined up and you're covering your whole area. This one has a little crimp, so I'm going to want to make sure that goes down when I apply my tissue. So sometimes, too, you got to make sure you have this thing lined up on the right side, some, and it actually wasn't. So that's the way we want that to go. We want to make sure the, the tear is going to end up as flat as possible. So now it's time to rip our paper. We don't want to cut this with scissors. When we rip the Japanese tissue, we want to fray it as much as possible so we get all of these nice little fibers exposed. So rip it slowly and kind of tear it apart so you end up with as many fibers as possible. We're going to do a pretty small repair so I don't need a big piece, but you're going to want to make sure your piece is big enough that you can leave one little area dry to handle it because as soon as it gets wet, it's going to want to turn to mouche. So this was the side of the uh, sheet, so I'm also going to rip this side just a little bit so I get some more fibers on that side as well. That looks like it's about the right size. We're going to lay it down on our mend just to make sure. It's a little long, but that's okay. I'm not going to obscure the uh, picture. I'll rip a little bit more off. 
and that looks like it'll be pretty good. All right, so now what we do is you kind of hold on to your one side that you're going to keep holding on, and then on a piece of wax paper or scrap paper, take your paintbrush and wet your tissue. Try not to do that and fold it over because you might not be able to salvage it and have to start over. So once it gets wet, it is awfully mushy and very fragile, even though it dries quite strong. So you position it over your tear. You take a micro spatula and kind of try to splay out those fibers as best you can. And then on the top, you're going to want to do the same thing you did on the bottom, whereas you take a piece of holotex and blotter paper. We actually have a few boards that have blotter paper and the holotex wrapped around, so I will often use these on the top. But they aren't that great to put on the bottom because sometimes they can leave a little bit of a crease if the, if by lifting up the page. So I'm just going to put this entire thing over the top and then we don't need as much weight as we do on the hinge tightening, so we're not going to put a big heavy book or a box, but we're just going to put one of these nice little small weights on top. And then that's it. Let it dry overnight.